G-Rad and Scissor Hand Design Studio in North Glen. Streaming live right now, music and live, KUHSDevil.com is DJ Jess with you here with Calhoun Blocks Entertainment's very own Mike Recca with a K, along with Henry Archuleta. Yeah. 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 Video broadcaster right now. Check it out. 30 seconds. Have you heard music alive yet? It interviews of local and regional musicians and artists. Hosted by the dynamic duo of DJ Jess and Henry Archuleta. <coughs> you can hear DJ Jess from 2.30 to 3 o'clock every Saturday. And then the second half is hosted by Henry Archuleta. KUHS Denver.com, DJ Jess with you. 2 30 here in the Mile High City. You know what that means. It's time for an all new edition of Music and Live. As always, if you're video casting, broadcasting live right here at the studios, go to KUHS Denver.com. To my left, my left. You hear that, Henry? You're just telling me I gotta leave? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? No, you can't leave. You have to left. You know, we're, we're hosted, it's hosted by the dynamic duo. Oh, Bro, that's, that's right. us. That's us. I'm so, I keep thinking duo of the Super Bowl. Two. I can't even think of anything else. I know, bro. It's going to be the longest Saturday of my life. Well, you bro. know what I feel is that, you know, if Denver loses, everybody's going to be so freaking sad. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be at work. I'm going to see if I can get a little money together and start trying to buy up all the jerseys. The Illuminati, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm talking about the, uh, the Cam Newton jerseys and oh, stuff yeah. when they lose. I mean, <laughs> All the stuff's going to be for free, right? No, they they send it to Africa. <laughs> I swear, they send that stuff to Africa for the people. Michael where. Blackson said, "Don't send that to my village." Yeah. <laughs> a big shout out to uh, we've got Periscope up there, Jesse. Uh, talk to Periscope for a little bit, and then let's get with the guests. Got some great guests in the show today. You know, we just keep hitting it hard, especially with the younger crowd. And it's so, about time you got some younger people in you here. Know, you know, that's you, how we drove. You, well, I don't mind the older ones too, because you know you had Larry Dunn, you've had uh, that was our first. Daryl Wolf, good. you had Daryl Wolfolk in here, uh, drummer of Gladys Knight. You've had some big names in here. We've had some heavy hitters and some rising stars as well. Ooh, so yes. shout out to Twitter and Periscope, log on and check it out. Okay, in the studio with us, we got Calhoun Block Entertainment, very old Mr. Mike Recca. Yeah, yeah. With a K. With a he with said, a, and he I told like me, that. He told me it's got to be with a K, Henry. I go with a K. And he kept saying, I, I said, I can't even remember what he said. <laughs> no, with the K, Henry. It's with like, a K. With, with a, a, with it, with it, with it, with it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then from Calhoun Block Music, okay. Those of you who don't know, give us a little bit uh, background on Calhoun Block, there, Mike Record. Calhoun Block, we are a Denver-based label. We've been around for a while. Actually, you should Google us or online www.calhounblockmusic.com. Um, on there, we have a lot of our artists, you know, links to videos. Uh, are those videos you have up there, they're, I really like those. I mean, is that Thank when you, you. guys, uh, I mean, you caught some of me in the in the booby bar. You told me, I'm <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. It, don't put that up on Instagram anymore. Office. I got in trouble last time. I mean, you know, it's all you good, you know. Yeah, it's like, uh, my lady it's says, what's this? what's this? My lady <laughs> said. Yeah, my lady <laughs> said. You know, she's got control of me. The, the leash is short. Yeah, don't do she's that. She's listening too. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> we didn't do nothing. My wife's in here too. It's all right. My fiance. Oh yeah, we got a lot of music. We got a lot of music. She's truck. looking right yeah. at us. <laughs> Put that whip down. <laughs> so yeah, we're starting out with Mr. Mike Recca. Now, Mike Recca, you grew up in Denver, Colorado, right? This is true. I am born and raised in Denver, Colorado, my man. Your whole life, huh? Whole life, love it. When did you start rapping, bro? I started rapping young. I got influenced really, really young, bro. My uh, older brother, Big Ace of Stoneface, um, did a lot of stuff with a, a label out here in Denver called Cut and Crew, bro. And I got real influenced by everything I heard. So I started writing young, but really, really didn't start to try to push myself out until like uh, high school is when I really started to try to push myself out. So, and. I mean, we're building some steam now, man. A lot of people got a great in internet presence. You know, a lot of people around the city are starting to uh, see our face with our music. And it's getting, it's getting good. That's good. You know, growing up, uh, listening to rap music, who were some of your influences? Uh, local or? Both local, yeah. international, national. Wow, well, well, local, a lot of my brother. I listen to my brother, SBD, Mr. Droopy Loke. I listen to uh, a lot of that. They influenced me a lot. And, uh, 
a lot of stuff like national. Mmm, it bounced around, bro. There's a lot of movements that were happening, you know, growing up, and I listened to a lot of them, like that whole Texas slowed and throw music. Chopped you know, and screwed. Yeah, that whole chopped and screwed. I listened to a lot of that, a lot of the Midwest chop music. You know, listen to a lot of that, and then even as early back as like Nas days, you know, old old Nas when they were doing those Jay Z beats and shit like that. Right. So I mean, it was, it's all around the board, all around the. It board. is around the board, like you say. There's a lot of uh, different things going on, you know, uh, in hip hop music. Uh, so a lot of different influences, you know. Kuhsdenver.com. We go all around the world, so we got to give a shout out to all of our listeners right now in the Ukraine, Indonesia. Uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, they're all tuning in for Music uh, Alive, you know, so they want to check it out. Were you able to say hi to everybody, Jess? I heard a couple uh, weeks ago. Yeah. DJ Jess said he was going to learn every language. Tell and it's funny because up. Noah brought that up last night, so uh, thanks a lot, bro. Okay. Yeah, you're I welcome. appreciate Cha-cha. it. Cha cha. Yeah. I love hear this. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to learn how to say hello in 40 different languages. So thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Uh, speaking to Witta K, my brother. Witta, Witta. Uh, Thanks for coming in, bro. Oh, thanks for having us. I appreciate it. It's you know, I see you jotting down some notes over there uh, uh, in my peripheral. In, uh, oh, it's just, is that is that a message for me? <laughs> it was actually a record, but, you know, there's three of them, so. So, uh, same question to you, bro. Growing up, you know, uh, listening to, to rap and, and uh, being influenced, what kind of music did you listen to? My influences, they were a little different. I was more of an R&B based, you know, but. I can't sing, but growing up, we grew up a little rough. Jesse, you can uh, attest to that. Yeah. And uh, I don't know my music influences. I grew up to, you know, Brother Lynch Hung, uh, E-40. I love some E-40 when I was a kid. Uh, my first tape was Bone Thugs and Harmony. It was great, man. And just, I don't know that. And then a lot of R&B stuff. I went down the R&B road. You know, when I was a kid, I was always bumping voice to man and immature. Immature was my shit, man. And uh, he wants to be Marcus Houston. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody always Batman. was saying, to be Batman, bro. Batman. <laughs> just drop them panties, that's all. Mm -hmm. They make them panty droppers, they could sing, man. And that was always my shit. And I know you can attest to it, too. You were the same way. That's how we grew up. We just grew up with liking a lot of different music. I liked a lot of rap, though, too. So that's what got me more into it. And, and all, all of our older brothers, Jesse, they just they listen to nothing but all the good stuff. And, Right, all the Drake, good old yeah. school rap, you know, all the good, all the good, good rap. All these Bone Thugs, uh, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, them were our favorites, you know. We were uh, we were just like, we liked a lot of Midwest stuff, too. A lot of the strange music nowadays, that was around back then, too. Bumping Brother Lynch, bumping Tech Nine, all that, man. Sugar Hill, whew, all that stuff when I was younger. I liked a lot of different ranges of music. Right. I like down south music, too, so. I'm a little different than everybody. Little I different. like it all. I like it all. Little I variety love my going school, on. Like you, everything. Right. And John. And Alan John. <laughs> hey, hey, he's got John, some cuts, bro. I made some what cuts. Best you? <laughs> my first album. One of the best <laughs> shows I've ever been to was an Alan John concert. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and I, I know. When's the last time you been to my show, then? I, you know what? In fact, we got a show coming up. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Speaking about shows, you guys did some some shows. You, Mike Record, especially. Uh, 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 always kicking it uh, and killing it at the uh, Roxy Theater here in yes. Denver, Colorado. Uh, talk a little bit about your first show, man. When you first went on stage uh, and you seen the crowd and stuff, were you scared? Were, were, were you nervous? Or when the music started, everything just went away? Talk a little bit about that. Uh, the first show that I did over there was uh, Stevie Stone. We did Stevie Stone open up for Strange Music Artist Stevie Stone. It was uh, Mr. Droopy Loken as well. And uh, shouts out Droopy. Yeah, Droopy. He's uh, another Calhoun Block artist. I wouldn't say nervous. It was it was a, all a great experience. But when the music does start, it's you're in your own world, right. you know. And there's a lot of people there. A lot, a lot. We got to go on uh, later in the evening. You know, we're fortunate enough to go on right before uh, the main acts and all that stuff. And um, it was it was a rush. It was a rush. Well, let's. Uh... Let's hear a little bit from you. You sent me some tracks. Let's start off with this one, Henry. You're going to like the title of this one. Are you ready, bro? Oh, I'm ready. I mean, what's taking you so long? <laughs> you, know, you know what, Jesse? You know I know how to rap, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You do, bro. Yeah. I was walking through the jungle with my in my hand. The biggest <laughs> foe in the whole land grand. I saw a hundred girls lined up on 
I better cut that. Yeah, yeah. bro. You're, you're gonna, gonna get off jelly bean bars. Oh my god. Bars. Bars. Bars for days, bro. Oh. But check this out. This song's called G Strings and High Heels, bro. See, yeah. see didn't I say? Yeah. yeah. So yes, uh, this was made by my cousin Icon. The beat was made by my cousin Icon, bro. Uh, Icon Production. Shout out to Icon. Shout out to Icon. And uh, it, it's basically uh, a twist on a Benny Benassi. Nice. Nice. So nice, the nice. beat, the beat is actually none of my lyrics, but uh, yeah, spin that shit. Well, let's check it out. KUHSDever.com music live right here. Check it out. That's Denver, Colorado, USA. Log in, www.kuhsdenver.com. Check us out. Check us out. Music and live featuring Galveston Block Entertainment's very old, Mike Frecker. And with a K, say what's up, Periscope. Yeah. My my Rick and Baby, Calvin Black Music, here with DJ Jess. Yeah. West. See the lady wants to get dressed. Got a Calvin Black Cutie. Say what's up. That's Daddy Kaka. Doing a fine job here. Denver, Colorado, USA. If you're logging in from anywhere in the world, we appreciate it. Send your love, send your wishes. We love you. Exactly. You know, we do a little bit of everything right here on that go live from jazz to country to soul to pop to rock. You can rap to everything. I can rap, so don't think I can. This is just chrome that you'll see. Love me. Show me love. El Paso, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Maricopa County, everyone here in the Mile High City. Henry. San Francisco hated hard. You know we got a big thing going on tomorrow, bro. Mm -hmm. Besides the Super Bowl. We got a big Super Bowl party going on. That's right. Tell them about the Super Bowl party. Jesse. Party with Trolls at Thirsty Lion tomorrow, 1605 Winesweet Street. Two to four. We're going to be broadcasting live on KUHSNever.com. Party with the Bronco alumni. All the like Haven Moses, you know, Haven Haven. Moses. Mm -hmm. also coming in with uh Jazz and Jack, the front man. Who's the front man? Jazz and Jack, yes, Steve Watts. Steve Watts, yeah, <laughs> he's coming in with the new show, man. We got all kinds of things going on here. Those of you listening to the audio portion right here, you're listening to P Strings and High Hills, Mike Reckett, Calhoun Block Music. Sounds like a skunk in here, huh, Henry? I was talking about the cannabis, but not your friend. <laughs> Throwing down here on KUHS Radio Denver. That's right. Having a blast. Heck yes. DJ yeah. Jess, you brought in some good jams here. 
What's up with that? That's how we roll, bro. I've been I've been trying to kill it lately, you know, because you've been talking stuff. You've been talking yeah. a lot of stuff. I mean, stuff, you come right? in here. How come everybody's been trying to override my show? Is it that bad? Mm -hmm. I know. We I just I did. I was here comes you out, Steve. Man. Yeah, here comes Steve. He, he like pushed me out because he had a special guest here. I get, had to leave out of here like seven minutes early. Wow. You came and tried to push me out fifteen minutes early, and but you I didn't had, go though. You oh, didn't leave. <laughs> Hey, I've got, uh, you know, the infamous Paul Chavez on, talking to the infamous Greg Nieto of Channel 31, Channel 2, out of San Francisco, from Las Vegas to San Francisco, back to Denver, to the world. Right. We had him on, and you that were with was us awesome. there. That was awesome. Caught him yeah. at 12, 12 up on the app. Having some fun over there in Super Bowl City, San Fran, California. Hey, uh, we're having our own little Super Bowl party here in the studio you know i know there's going to be a party tonight on bedroom discussions and uh heartbeats not bedroom discussions but on heartbeats sorry heartbeats. sorry yeah 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 bedrooms discussion has been canceled oh yes well way to break it to us live on the air you know <laughs> kuhs never.com is musical live featuring mike recca yeah. with a k now g strings and high yeah. heels that's uh some of men's favorite things you know Oh, really? yeah, definitely. No, no, men Except don't the wear those. No, no, but they're Some great things too. to look at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Some women, yeah, bless too. Their hearts too. Yeah. Bless, bless them. Bless them. Yes. Yeah, bless them. <laughs> I was blessed with them. <laughs> 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 Uh, so yeah, we're having a good time here in the studio. Now check it out. You guys got a show coming up. Yes. When we got is two it? shows. Two coming shows up. coming up. What do we got going on? Uh, March fifth, Roxy Theater. We're opening up for Blaze Your Dead Homie. Mm, that's gonna be a good show. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. You, you, I bet you can't wait for that one. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. It's a uh, different crowd than what we normally rock, but uh, it's not nothing we can't do. Right. You know. And then after that, shortly after that, actually St. Patrick's Day, same venue, Roxy Theater. We're opening up for. Uh, Crickle Banks. Whoa. Yeah. Bang. Now, Henry knows this stuff. Henry knows yeah, the, the new school I act. Mean, I, be, so. I know I look like I don't. Put that viejito. Put that viejito on the wheelchair. Get him out of here. <laughs> Son of a Michi. It's not great. It's chrome. See, si, yes, <laughs> You can use that, too. <laughs> you can use it. You can take that with you. You can take that one home. Yeah, we got some of the baddest rappers here in the studio. DJ Jess has been bringing in the new stuff, and that's what I've been asking. I said, find that new stuff, you know, because we want to expose it to the world, to Indonesia, Turkey, Spain, uh, Switzerland, Brazil, Canada. We want to expose them everywhere and all over the earth on Periscope. Uh, Jesse, aren't we on Periscope right now? We are live Doing on Periscope, Periscope right business. now, yeah. They showed mm -hmm. us some love, lots of love going on here in the studio, you know. And that's coming out of like Russia, in Istanbul, Turkey, Brazil, all over the world. And so we got two feeds going on here as well as the audio feed. Isn't that right, Jesse? That's right. Exposing bro. this grand, beautiful <clears throat> sound out of Denver, Colorado with the two of the best rappers. Well, around the world, they like G-Strings and High Hills. <laughs> they rant about them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ranting rave. But you know what I think the G-Strings have been doing? Uh, it's making women always pissed off. They always have a, a permanent wedgie. Right, huh? A permanent uh, wedgie. They always got something up their ass. Yeah, uh. yeah the permanent wedgie. So that's I, I want to do away oh, with that. You know, just, get just, ass just don't even wear any underwear. Right. Yeah. 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 Just What's stop that? wearing that. Uh, Every time I get around you, Jess, you get me talking like that. That's your fault. Sorry. Man. I'm all AJ squared away and all that. You know, so I've been taking my Metamucil y todo in Europe, just messing right. it up, man. Right. I'm glad we put tennis time. balls on your walker. <laughs> you, know, you can't hear me coming. You can't hear me coming. You know, so like like I was saying, we got Calhoun Block Entertainment's very own bro. Uh, they've been killing it here in the Mile High City. Uh, you, uh, talk a little bit about going inside the studio, recording some songs, especially you, Mike, uh, uh, with a K over there. Mike with a K. Mike with a K. K. Mike with a K. It's with a K. With a K. Yeah. Um, it's all, you know, the recording part of the side, it's all been fairly new to me these past couple of years. Uh, luckily, I've known uh, Mike Greco my whole life and going over 20 years. And ever since we were kids, this is all we've ever talked about, all we've ever practiced, all we've ever done is just sit around rapping and talking about how we're going to do it one day. And, uh, luckily, I've been, you know, like I said, these past couple of years, I got to get in the studio and record with him. And we finally got to make music and we're finally coming together and doing everything that we like to do and that we always dreamed about and talked about. And, Shit, we hope we just keep progressing and keep going. That's all we want to do. We just want progression. Everybody who keeps trying to do the music and 
getting in the music game and everything, they've been staying just solid, just doing the same thing, same thing. We ain't trying to do the same thing. We're trying to expand our name. We're trying to expand our label, everything. We want to grow and we want to progress. We don't want to be in the same spot over and over. And that's the year. truth because if you stay put with one type of thing, it uh, gets, you know, kind of stale. Yeah, and, 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 and that's like, one of the good things about our label, too, the Calhoun Block, is we have artists from every kind of genre of music. And where did you come out with Calhoun Block? Calhoun Block, go ahead, Mike. I can Calhoun tell the Block, history of it. Uh, that's actually a street that the first studio was on. See? And, uh, it's called Calhoun. Yeah, yeah. And Calhoun. then you called it the block. Well, uh, yeah, that's the block. That's like that's down the we were at. all the kids from <laughs> down the block. Right, <laughs> me on the block. Yeah, the yeah. familia from the it block. Was, it was actually three. Calhoun. Three of the artists did it. My, uh, my brother, Big Ace, Stoneface, Ski Loco, and uh, Jay Vegas started it. That's tight. With Calhoun Block and uh, that's their, tight. their roots got these branches now, man. We're, <laughs> we're really out here. Mm -hmm. Just trying to do something, trying to do something. Me, every time we go on stage, we like to put on a show, not just like everybody else. You know, we don't come out by ourselves. We come out with our Calhoun Block cuties. We like them Ooh. to dance. Mm -hmm. We would like DJ Jess to be up there DJing and spinning our records. But so he comes out all old right. school and stuff. That's you know? high shit. Some have been put on the high heels in the in the Jesus. Yeah, put have put on Calhoun Block. Yeah. Throw it on a temptation. <laughs> See, you don't know what to no, say when yeah. we. Uh, we dog it, dog it. That, mm -hmm. that was a good one. But yeah, so we like to put on a show. Me, me personally, I, anytime I perform or anytime I do anything, I make sure I'm up there with the best hype man in the business. My brother Skeet, he can't be here right now. He's out in uh, Ohio. Yeah, our, our prayers and condolences go, go out to the Scott Skeet, family. What's yes, happening? What's Scott happening? Family. His grandfather passed away just oh, recently. Shit. A fighter, man. He's been fighting this whole time. Yeah, he was supposed to pass away about a year ago. Oh, uh, shit. About 20 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Right? <laughs> shit. He just keep on fighting, man. And, Unfortunately, the Lord took him, but my brother, he's out there, you know, he's out there he's celebrating listening. the life of his grandpa with his family. He's listening to us live. We know it. Shouts out, brother. And uh, and, and you know these, uh, I went to a funeral the other night, or the other day, and I tell Jesse, I go, you know how everybody goes up there and gives uh, their little speech, a little hoopla, and some people just get carried away, spend 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes just up there. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, that happened to me the other day. That happened to me too, Yeah, bro. and I told Jesse, dude, if I pass away, come up there and say, yeah, and it was cool. And then throw on the mariachis, <laughs> bring up singers, rappers, uh, everything, and let's get busy. I'm DJing your funeral. Yeah, let's yeah. DJ the whole thing. <laughs> Jesse's no, really. my funeral. I yeah. told him already. But I told him to go ahead and put, like, put on mm -hmm. the high heels and the uh, g shirts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys come up there and black throw down. Black black music music yes, come up there. For you. You can, that would be so <laughs> sick. It would be like a show. Yeah, huh? come walking up and come block, jamming it. Everybody would be saying, yeah. With, with, with you know the casket that had the logo on it, had huh. Bulldog Smoke. Huh. <laughs> see, <laughs> see that, now that's right there. That's imagination, bro. That's a funeral. Yeah, start really jamming that. That would be so freaking sick. That's what I want, Jesse. Don't let me down. You let me we'll down. Job out. I'll, I'll come and tickle your feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll, be, he'll be slipping and Quick. shit. He'll be sleeping and shit. And all of a sudden, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking him. He has him by the balls. <laughs> 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 I think we can play some music, bro. Yeah. 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 When you when they talk, that's what we do. When Calhoun Block Music talks, they listen. This song is actually off of, coming off my new album. Uh, G Strings and High, Hills, High Hills is actually on the same album called Wreck Fury. That album's coming out here shortly. In fact, it's actually in the post production stages. And this one is actually featuring With a K. Mm -hmm. With a K. This is the first song that me and Wreck actually got to record together. That. Uh, we just been waiting to collab on, man. Personally, I think it's our best work so far, man. Fire. And, oh, yeah. and the beat again is by my cousin Icon. Shouts out Icon. Icon. Induction again. Oh, you guys need go. beats. Easy. Get on him. He's on SoundCloud. He's on everything. Check it Fire. out, Joe. All around the world, from Spain to Italy to Turkey, Peru, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, to the Mile High City. We're talking about when I talk. Mike what? Greco, featuring with a K right here at Musical Live, KUHSDenver.com. I'm going to go 
the natural mind been labeled in this. That's live on our Twitter feed right now, so it's one of our You follow it us, they get a notification. We're live. This one's directly to our website, kuhsdev.com. Go on there, and you'll see us live. And even while this is saying that's still feeding. Yep. I probably shouldn't have my nose on time. No, not really. <laughs> 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 oh, he's got that down. I mean, he's got that down. He's got that down. That's it. That's it, smell that right here. That's what it came. What? What? Jeez. If I could talk that fast to my old age, we'd be all happy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, fast. <laughs> Sounds like a tongue running. <laughs> like it's trying to start up. And you guys want. You can go watch it later on our website. It'll be live right now to watch it on the commercial back to YouTube. So, so what can you do? I'm going to give a shout out to the city on the and the correct and the rest of the camera on the black on the street. Now, Jess, that was yeah. one type jam. You know, uh, he was saying there, uh, the, the label, uh, well, what I heard was uh, Camel Toe. Or <laughs> what? Oh, Camel Block, Camel Block. Camel Bro. Block. Bro. <laughs> My bad. It's, it's the age. It's the age. No. No, I, I had that sitting there. See, I had it sitting there real quick. You claim cool. to be all young and stuff, but your memory, you can't remember nothing. Yeah, no, bro. But about the goddamn camel yeah, toe. because what well, you're talking about, about the camel toe. you're talking about yeah. high heels and cheese strings. <laughs> so, like, and you, you, you wanted to get gangsta. Being me, gangsta first was camel. Don't forget, camel, camel block in the house. Camel block, camel block music. Hey, hey, I want to give a shout out though to Go ahead. Uh, our other two cuties on here, uh, Bianca and Caress. Man, them girls putting hard work on the stage, and especially everybody on the label, man. And Girl, do they look good up there? They just oh, put on a show, up, man. July, they, July, they put on July, a show. July, when we hit the stage, we got AR and Ski hitting the AR stage too, Don. man. They're coming up with this blaze. Well, I'm introducing a lot of my artists, putting a lot of our artists out there, man, and and. It's going to be good. Everyone come out. We got tickets on hand. Get us out on Facebook. Calhoun Block on Facebook. Twitter. Mm -hmm. You can buy us all. We all got our own pages. pages. Hit me up. Friend me. Ask me to buy some tickets. I'll deliver. You know, through Denver, though. Cause deliver, I yep. Yeah. Let us know. Too. Deliver the work. Uh, Let us know here at KUHS if you need tickets. 720-386-0513. Now, uh, what do we got in store for us? Now, I've seen your guys' rehearsals, and I want to say, you know, I know I talked a lot of stuff to you guys, but I, I am proud of you, Michael. I'm proud of you. Uh, you know, one of my biggest inspirations right there, my big brother. So you guys have been killing it, so I want to thank you for coming on board with thank us. Thank What do we got in store for the future right here? Albums, videos. Check the website, www.calhounblockmusic.com, man. We'll keep you posted. Check the webpage on on Facebook, go to hit the like page, hit the like button, man. We got all kinds of shit coming out. Albums from every artist. We got singles every month from July. She's a beast, man. Um, it's just, we're going to keep pumping this music, man. Shows, shows, and more shows, and promotion, mm -hmm. and... And promotion's the key, you know. Yeah. That's a they're gonna see my face everywhere. Recca for Senate, boy. That's the way to cave for that one. So <laughs> that was a great thing. Yep. The and it's funny debate. you, you, you tell me all this that. promotion. I was doing some taglines, tagging people on, you know, promoting our shows and yeah. stuff. And it's rare. Once in a while, we get this. Oh, would you stop giving me your tags? On I have enough <laughs> in my life. <laughs> and I thought, okay, so why did you tag me with your uh, CD, fourth CD release? Uh, okay, so all right, I told her. <laughs> she goes, that was a long time ago. It just, oh, 
Okay, so people talk stuff to you. Yeah, right? it's like uh, you know, it's we gotta like, regulate. Well, that's you the don't second want one. The block to come down. Yeah. See? <laughs> I'm telling you, camel toe will come get you. <laughs> <laughs> Calhoun block. Calhoun block. Calhoun block. Calhoun yeah, block. I'm good. I'm good. It's just San have, Francisco logging oh, in with yeah. us right now. I had to catch that one right San there. San Fran, what up? You guys get the ready. The Philippines. For that ass before El we're about segundo. To get I know everybody in Oakland is mad as hell. That ain't nothing but Bronco jerseys walk around. <laughs> but it's all right, guys. Pretty soon you guys will be in San Diego or San Antonio or something. And we'll, shit. Go pick up, <laughs> we'll go pick up all the uh, Panthers' uh, uh, clothing so we can send it to Africa, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so. Unless it's that clothing from Cam Newton. I don't know if you guys seen all that shit. Oh, I know. That guy was wearing Jesus. Oh, That's no, no, fashion, bro, man. Bro. Now, wait, don't break <laughs> that up for him. <laughs> this is wait, for another time. Every no, no, no. I got to tell him this. Wait, wait, wait. He's wait, live. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Coming up next. He called the U.S. Top 20. Oh, I got to get this off, bro. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Bro. The clothing. Now, think about this one. Promotions. Now, if Calhoun Block. <laughs> no, we ain't wearing no skinny jeans. No, no, bro. Bro, <laughs> you need to put some skinny uh, jeans I on. I don't match my leg. And the manufacturer says, you wear these on just to get the promotion. We will pay you. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'll say no, thank you. Versace. How much did Versace pay Cam Newton? How much did Versace pay Cam Newton? You'll never pay, believe. You it. can't pay record to be saucy at all. Shit. <laughs> 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 Cam Block Music. I'm out mm. of look, look, look. Well, I'd wear them like for five thousand. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah. Suit, yeah. No, that's what they paid. They paid him about hundred and fifty. Yeah, they all sold out of those pants too. I can't believe yeah, that. Yeah, that's well, that's what I'm telling you. That's how they do it. That's what and his coat. How much did his coat cost? That was a forty-five. Hey, Jesse, yeah, I don't pants on right now. Forty-five. Jesse. Yeah, what are you doing with those? <laughs> like, those oh, are, man. Those are <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, bro. That's I'm, I'm oh, down. Oh, they dude. tell me Sorry. you gotta wear them jeans. I'm, I'm glad Calvin no. They tell me I'll give you a million dollars. I'm telling them. Uh, loosen them jeans. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm glad Calhoun Block came in here because Jesse, what are you doing with those Versace? I'm pants sorry, man. Versace. Those are Versace. Yeah, those saucy uh, pants. That's how I roll here. You were, yeah, with your with your fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you're just yeah. jealous, Henry. Yeah, it's I, am, right. I am. So okay, you busted me. You caught me. 301 here in the Mile High City. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Had a great show today. Check me out tomorrow. Conciones de Domingo, 10 to 1 o'clock. We will be cutting it short. We will be cutting it short because I'm going to head on down to the Thirsty Lion, 1605 Wine Coop Street, okay? We're going to have a good time over there. Me, Henry, Fred McHenry, Chris Brewer, and, of course, Lenny from the Lenny Sports Talk Show. So. And all the Bronco alumni heading down there, too. So there will be some older folks there, but... They come from the Broncos, you know, like there's going to be some heavyweights yes, there. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's the alumni pros putting it on, you know. And so. what we heard just uh, recently, they're already to three quarters sold out. So yep. by tonight, it'll be jam-packed to the gills because they just told us that uh, we're running out of room already. So uh, Got to get there early. Mm -hmm. so well, it's too late. Be... If they make reservations, it's packed. It's, it's done. Packed it's packed So mm -hmm. tune in to KUHSDever.com tomorrow about 2 o'clock. Two, well, we'll, well, we're going to start a little time. early. One fifty-five with you guys. You're going to start off the show. The VDJs, uh, Jesse and uh, Sports Talk Show host uh, Lenny Archuleta, going to start it out. Talk about the Super Bowl. Patch right over into the uh, the table where Fred McHenry and Chris Brewer will be sitting there talking out their show, and then Lenny will join them. And then they'll talk to a lot of the Bronco players and some we're of the other have a good time, man. some of the we're famous just... people that come in there. We're going to broadcast. We're going to get down to the get down, yeah. man. So, Mike Recca, give me your prediction. Tomorrow's score. No, I don't know the score, bro. I just know the Broncos will come with a W. But that's we, all that matters. A win's a win, bro. Well, will you be, will you be we need a prediction. We need a prediction. Give me your score. Uh, I'm going to do a blowout. 48-0. Okay. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> with a kick. Yo. Give me your prediction. My dog's going to win. 35-27. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I think uh, I think it's going to be a close game. The Broncos are going to beat that ass. And then it's going to be like, uh, we'll say 27-24. Henry, I got yours, 23-20. I, I got yours, bro. You know, let me. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I sucked it all back in. <laughs> My you just kept filthy all the time. Just filthy, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am it too well. Son on, of a bitch, you thought I was going to say it. It's because he's listening to Mike Retro, bro. Like, G -string, G -string, no, he got G -string, me going now. Yeah. Yeah. So you, brought, you bring the young people. You wrong, yeah, yeah, you bring in the young people. I liven up. You bring yeah, in those yeah. men. Eat those. That's you, bro. You bring in those men. They fall asleep. I'm not going to name names. Yeah, you didn't say that with Andrew Wolfolk, Daryl Wolfolk. 
all the big the boys. The big shots. You just up. sit there. Whoa, who's sitting there right next to me? Jesus right next to me. <laughs> now we got Denver's Rising Stars, one of the biggest stars here in the Mile High City, Calhoun Block Entertainment. Make sure to check Calhoun them out. Calhoun Block Music. Mi music, sorry, excuse Calhoun me. Block music. Music. Jesse, play one song. I'm going to hand you the top 20 out of Hollywood. It's on. Um, it's got to be put in there. Oh. Okay. So play one song just to hold us up. Oh, okay, let's let's play. I'll get it for you. Go ahead, okay. Coming up next, we got uh, U.S. Top 20 syndicated straight out of Hollywood, California. And then after that, following, we got uh, some, uh, uh, well, we don't have bedroom discussions. So we got Heartbeats, Heartbeats. coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. Don't go anywhere.